Now let's do an unboxing here of this Badlands CXR 2500-pound winch. That's kind of cool. Smaller than I thought. But small is good. Pretty heavy for its size. We have two installation holes. Yeah, it's pretty heavy for its size. We have a remote remote. Circuit breaker. Let's see how much wiring we have. Looks like it's about 10 gauge. And I have extra 10 gauge if I need it. Some nuts and bolts. So we got a shackle. And we have a hook. Now, it looks like there is not a mounting bracket for this. So, I'm glad that I bought one when I was at the store. So yeah, I bought this. It's a ATV winch mount plate while I was there. Because I thought uh, that I would need it, but I wasn't sure. So you will need this plate. It's actually made for the bad land winches from 20, uh, from 2,000 to 3,500 pounds. So should work. This is like eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that. Comes with the owner's manual or instruction manual. I believe this bolts to this, like this, and then your winch bolts on to this plate. Like so. And Gonna have to work something out. Hmm. I really don't want to weld this plate. So, that looks like all our stuff. So, 
let's get to piecing this thing together. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mock-up. See how this sets on. I got a feeling that, well, this plate is made for an ATV. Um, my concern is, is I'm not going to have enough room to bolt this down. That's my concern at this point. And to be honest with you, it looks like I only have two holes, these two holes here to mount it. Because the other holes. That kind of sucks. Should have made this plate bigger. But like I say, it's made for an ATV. So what I might have to do is get another piece of metal and mount this plate onto that piece of metal. Which I do have another piece of metal that is just as thick as this. It's, um, it's just going to be a little bit more construction, which that's fine. So let me do some thinking and we'll come back and we'll try to get this thing on. So hey, I found me a piece of metal that I had laying around. And it's pretty thick, so I broke out the old Makita. Oh, actually, it's a Ryobi. I thought it was a Makita grinder with a DeWalt on it. Um, to cut this plate with. Um, kind of be careful with these things. Um, I've seen them explode. Um, the glasses that I have on are my work glasses that I use at work. They are safety glasses. So if something hits them, you know, I'm good. Of course, I don't have the side shields on it, but it's so hot out here that they would just fog up. It's like 98 degrees out here today, and um, man, I'm like sweating bullets as it is. So when it's hot like this, keep dehydrated. But we're gonna we're gonna make the last cut on this uh, piece of metal and uh, mock it up and see what uh, see what it looks like. My glasses are fogging already. Just sitting here talking to you. All right, let's get to working. So I got my plate all cut up. There's some pretty thick stuff there. I think that's gonna do good. Um, I know you probably can't see. Can't find my paint pen, but I've already made my marks and little dimples in there where I'm gonna drill the holes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So apparently, I forgot to hit the record button. But this is what we have got that plate that I had sandwiched in between the trailer so now I have a mounting point over here for the plate just to give it some extra strength um, You know, being as I just had two, two bolts that hold this in, which are the center ones. And I've got two to hold it down. So yeah, I need to go get some more bolts. Um, I'm painting the uh, the bracket that I made with some uh, some primer and some black paint. I'm kind of waiting on that to dry. Um, so where I'm at now is uh, I've just kind of got this sitting on here with one bolt and that's pretty much where it's going to be. I've got this box 
wired up. The only thing I don't like is I don't see any covers for these terminals, which I'm going to come up with something for that because I'm not going to have that battery wire exposed. Yeah, the circuit breaker is on the end of that, and I guess they put that in because they want it near the battery. So at some point, I'm going to have to cut this this wiring. Um, this is the remote for it. It's got a pretty good length on it. I'm kind of looking, you know, standing about here to operate it. This switch feels kind of funky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up some mock-up wiring after I get this mounted before I go cutting wires because what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up getting me connectors like for the trolling motor and I'm just going to mount a connector here and then I can just plug it in run it to the front of the truck put my clamps on the on the battery because I want to use it you know right at the battery I don't want to make a wire and run it through you know I want to keep the same gauge wire which it's it looks like 10 gauge so that's kind of what we're going to do. I need to get some bolts. Still, I haven't done that. This little box fits up under that rail pretty good. It's supposed to be waterproof, so I'm going to secure that wire with a zip tie. And I'm going to take a little Dremel tool, cut these little pieces off here. I don't want them sticking out. Let me show you how to do these little clamps. I'm going to take this little red piece off here. This red piece goes on like this. You want to take that red piece off. What you want to do is you want to make sure that wire goes under that piece like that. This is the wrong tool, but I don't want to forget to put this on this wire like I almost did. It goes on the wire first. And then what I do is I hit this with some solder right there. And just slide this up on here. Mix up a little mini clamp. So we're going to do the other one like that and then we'll go put a drop of solder on it. So we're ready for a little test run here. We're going to 
pull a clip. And, uh, pull that out. Lock it down. I got my my wire run up to my battery. My little clamps there. And I just got them loosely wrapped for now. I just want to make sure it works before I go any further. And um Yeah. Let's see what it does. Alright, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, cool.
Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I've decided to make a change on the wiring. I'm going to take those clamps off of the other end and I'm going to put those here. This circuit breaker is supposed to be close to the battery, so I'm going to take those clamps, put the clamps on here, on this end, and then I'm going to attach the other end that I cut off onto this 10 gauge wire that I have and, and we're going to run it that way. I don't have the ends for that I use on the trolling motor so I'm going to go ahead and order those from Amazon and uh, have those come in. It'll probably take a couple of days for them to come in. So uh, we're going to continue this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff in the house and see if I can solder it up. Actually, I think the storm's going to blow over. I might try to do it out here real quick. But, um, yeah, cool. That's hey, so do. we had a heck of a storm come through. I barely made it in. I got everything all put away, but it's been kind of blown through. We got another one coming through here in a little while. But I thought I'd go ahead and get this thing hooked all up. Just to show you, um, I'm pretty much done with it with the exception of trying it out and um i'll just make another video for that with the boat i want to do it in the yard but it's too wet and plus like i said i got another storm coming in so yeah let's check it out so i put those wire clamps on this end down here and got the circuit breaker and uh got enough wire run down and uh just put some, these are temporary connectors for now. Like I say, I'm going to order me the ones that I really want that I use on my trolling motor because I really like those. But yeah, it turned out to be a clean installation there. I really like it. Took me three quarters of the day, but when you have to fabricate stuff, I still got some cleanup to do. Still got to cut those ends off there, but... Check this out, I got this little remote that came with it. Push the button, three seconds. Lights up, retract. Extend. I guess you really ought to have weight on it, or actually I think I pulled it the wrong way. I did. Yeah, that's extend. Technically, you're supposed to have weight on it. But that's cool. Awesome. So there you have it. The Badland. ZXR2500. We'll put it to the test. Hopefully tomorrow. We'll see if the rain goes away, but I think we'll do exactly what Hope it you means. enjoyed this little video. Long video. Sorry. But, you know, hey, that's how it goes sometimes. But, um, yeah, I'll let you know how it does in a while. Appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.